find the square root of 6a squared plus a minus 2 times 12a squared minus a minus 6 and 8a squared minus 10 8 plus 3. Okay, now the, basically the question is you have to find the square root of this expression, which is 6a squared plus a minus 2. Uh, this is 12a squared minus a minus 6. Let me make the square root a bit bigger. Okay, I'll make the square root times 8a squared minus 10a plus 3. You want to find the square root of this whole expression. So basically we have to factorize this. So let's factorize that each of them separately. So 6a squared plus a minus 2. So basically uh, let's the first step is you multiply 6a squared and minus 2. So 6a squared times minus 2 is minus 12a squared. And you want to find the two factors of these which adds to give you plus a. Well, that is plus 4a minus 3a. Okay, so this will become, I'm going to split this plus a into plus 4a minus 3a. So this becomes 6a squared plus 4a minus 3a minus 2. So let's factorize this and this separately. So what is common here? Well, look at the numbers 2, 6 and 4. What is common? 2 is common and from letters you got a common. So 2a is common, so you've got 3a so 2a times 3 is 6a squared, 2a times 2 is 4a. Now from here, negative 1 is common, so negative 1 times 3a is negative 3a, and negative 1 times plus 2 gives you negative 3. So this factorizes to 3a squared, sorry, 3a plus 2 times 2a minus 1. Okay, so this is the factorization of the first quadratic. So let me do a different color. So for the second one, I'm, I'm going to do it fast. So 12 squared minus a minus 6. So the same process, 12a times 6a is 72a. The two factors of 72, which gives you a, is 9 and 8. So I'm going to write this as 12a squared. Because it's minus, I will have to put a greater number as negative plus 80 minus 6. So what can you factor out here? Well, I can factor out a 3a. So then you have 3 times 4. 3a times 4a is 12 squared minus 3. And here you can factor out a 2. And then you have 4a minus 3. So this factors to 4a minus 3. I hope you can see. Okay, I forgot to show you. So 2a plus 3 is common. So you can factor 2a plus 3 out, and then you can write 2a minus 1 from these two. In the same way, yeah, I can write, you can factor out this 4a minus 3, and then you can write 3a plus 2 inside like this. Okay, and finally, let me take the last, which is I'll write it here. So I want to save space. So this is first quadratic. This is the second quadratic. Hopefully I got space to finish this off. So this is 8a squared minus 10a plus 3. So this is, let me show it again. So the, if you multiply these two, you have 24a squared. The two factors, which gives you minus 10a two factors of 24a squared which gives you minus 10a is plus 12a minus 2a. So if you multiply this to you get 24a squared. Sorry, uh, it has to be, no, this is wrong. This will not give you 24a squared. So I, I need to think in a different way. The two factors which gives you 
it should both be negative. So it should be minus 6a minus 4a. These two multiply to give you 24a squared and if these two adds to give you minus 10a. So this becomes 8a squared minus 6a minus 4a plus 3. Hopefully I got space here. So what can you factor out? You can factor out 2a. So you can factor out a 2a. So you got 4a minus 3. And from this, this is from this group. Now from this group, you can factor out a minus 1. So you have 4a minus 3. Okay, so finally it is 4a minus 3. 4a minus 3 times 2a minus 1. Hopefully, okay, so let me scroll up. So the question was, you had to find the square root. Okay, so I'll write it here. So this becomes, let me use this color. So this, this changes to square root of, let me write it here. So this, the factorization of this is 3a plus 2, 3a plus 2 plus 2 times 2a minus 1. Okay, the factorization of this is 4a minus 3 times 3a plus 2. And the factorization of this is 4a minus 3 times 2a minus 1. So if you look properly, you can see two groups of each of them. So you've got 2a plus 3, sorry, 3a plus 2, 3a plus 2. So this is square root of 3a plus 2 the whole squared times, you've got 2a minus 1 times 2a minus 1. I should put this square root uh, under the whole thing. So this would be 2a minus 1 the whole squared times you got 4a minus 3 times 4a minus 3 which is 4a minus 3 the whole squared. Okay and then you've got square of you've got a square root of a square. So square root and square cancel each other out. So the final answer should be 3a plus 2 times 2a minus 1 times 4a minus 3 and this is your final answer.